भद्रं कर्णे भीषणुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्ये मक्षवीर्यजत्रा स्थिरंगुंसस्तनूभ व्यशेम देवयु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्वेदा स्वस्ति नो अरिष्टने स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओ शाशाति शाति श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओ शाति 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 बंद कर दो मंत्र नंबर फाइव तस्मादग्निस्मिधो यूर्य तस्मादग्निस्मिधो यूर्य सोमात्जन्य ओषधय पृथिव्या सोमात्जन्य ओषधय पृथिव्या उमात सिंचति योषितायां उमान रेत सिंचति योषितायां बहवी प्रजा पुषा संप्रसूता बहवी प्रजा पुषा संप्रसूता अगेन तस्मादग्निस्मिधो यूर्य सोमात्जन्य ओषधय पृथिव्या तस्मादग्निस्मिधो यूर्य सोमात्जन्य ओषधय पृथिव्या उमान रेत सिंचति योषितायां बहवी प्रजा पुषा संप्रथुता उमान रेत सिंचति योषितायां बहवी प्रजा पुषा संप्रसूता शास्त्र टॉक्स अबाउट उपासनास उपासनास विच आर इन मॉडर्न डेज लूजली ट्रांसलेटेड एज मेडिटेशन फॉर अ वॉन्ट ऑफ वर्ड बट उपासना सटनली इन्वॉल्व ईश्वर और सम ईश्वर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ देवता मेडिटेशन मे और मे नॉट generally especially in the modern times most of the meditation has nothing to do with ishvara however we therefore will continue to use the word upasana what is upasana it is called deliberate adhyasana one is artha adhyasana superimposing another object upon one object that arthadya arthadyasa is out of ignorance more most more often than not you just happen to see the snake in place of rope you see a ghost in our typical stand post of the uh, post box post you know with a cap and hat and all that so this is arthadhyasi when there is gnana adhyasa meaning thereby knowing fully well still you look upon that as something else that value that has been given 
to us through our culture the nana dhyasa primarily through religion for that matter every religion has it shaligrame vishnu to look upon vishnu in shaligrama linge shivaha to look upon shivji in a lingam you know ayudhe durga to look upon durga shakti in various weapons so that is called gnana adhyas similarly there is adhyas in christianity gnana adhyas upasana wearing a cross kissing the cross and praying also cross jesus like that so it is artha adhyas i mean sorry gnana adhyas other religions do have direction becomes gnana adhyas where the makka is they always do namaz facing that direction so there is also adhyas in a way but they are called gnana adhyas so now in vedas the upasanas are given varieties of upasanas are given and the primarily prayojanam primary objective of upasana is to gain a focused mind and if it involves ishvara only or japa like then objective is to get purification of mind also chittaikagra prapti arthe upasana and if it is japa manas japa that then it becomes chitta shuddhi arthe bi it becomes the means for many purification of mind vedas talk of upasanas purana talk of upasanas and itihasa also talks of upasanas our ramayana and mahabharata unfortunately in today's times the vedic upasanas been shrauta upasana what we call it veda is shruti and upasana is revealed in veda is anything revealed by veda is called shrautam so shrauta upasanas are by and large not available there are upasakas are missing and some of the mantras are difficult to understand today more often we have smart upasanas smriti granthas puranas I have talked about like shiva and krishna and rama and etc like typical example kena upanishad se tat jala nitya pasita me me upasana very clear minded tat jalan iti upasita similarly mano brahme te bhajana there is upasana that you look upon mana means adha karanam as hiranyagarbha brahma means here here it is in the sense of hiranyagarbha superimposing hiranyagarbha upon adha karanam or even this prayer we do when they start puja they do prayer what is a prayer that uh, uh, they say uh, uh, um, देहो देवालय प्रोक्त जीवो देव सनातन त्यजे रत्नान निर्माल्य सोहम भावेन पूजयेत यू लुक अपॉन देहा एज देवालय देहो देवालय जीवो ब्रह्मैव सनातन जीवो शिव सनातन और जीवो विष्णु सनातन द जीवात्मा इज इट्स इज लुक्ड अपॉन एज विष्णु और व्हाटएवर एंड देन you do pass okay so hum bhavena puja that is i have like that so many upasanas are given as i said in vedas but there is these very few are available today now sometimes different upasanas are given in a sense veda gives various karmas rituals that ritual itself is converted into upasana as though 
you know. That means you meditate, you do upasana on that ritual itself. As I mentioned last time, Panchagni Vidya. So that is also upasana. And here the mantra Stathparyam. The essence of this mantra, what the krama he is talking about, and from that krama, we are to, I mean, that is the th essence is purushat, purushat, prajaha, samprasuta. Prajaha, prakarshena, jayan, deiti, prajaha. All their bonds, living beings, sentient beings are ultimately from the purusha. How they are born, then he gives this krama, which is a meditation. You look upon every stage as a manifestation of Ishwar. From he says, first fire is heaven. Heaven is a fire. What is the samid? What is the oblations that you offer into fire? Well, the sun is the samid. The sun is offered into Sun is a twix, that's the fire. Tasmad Agni Samidaha Yasya Surya. Then Somad Osh Parjanyaha. Then, then he says, from Somaha, this Jivatma, the travel journey of Jivatma coming back to the earth or wherever Lokas, he enters the clouds. And the clouds are as though offered to Mother Earth. Then Mother Earth as though offers itself to Oshadihi. Oshadi as though offers itself to Annam in the heart, in the stomach of Purusha. And what is Phalam? Retaha. The seed is born. The food eaten becomes the seed. And that seed is placed in a woman, and that's, that is a prajaha jayante. So each stage of transformation is looked upon as fire, and something is offered in the fire, and some phalam is there. That phalam itself is offered into another fire, another phalam is offered into another, another fire, like that. Jivaha prajaha prajayante. So, from Brahman, the, from Brahman, from whom the heavens are born, then ultimately from the same Brahman, jivas are born. That's a Tatpari. I have discussed this in uh, uh, earlier last uh, class very detailed. Tatpari essence is also not Upasana, but then the whole creation is nothing but manifestation of Ishwara in different forms, different names. And that is, therefore we say Vacha Rambhanam Vikaro Namadhyaya. It is only having support of the tongue in a sense. There is no real birth. Vacha Rambhanam. What you call something that, that, is, that, that is there in your tongue in your understanding, but there is no real vastu. With reference to ornament, gold is a vastu. Not the chain or a bangle or a ring or earring or nose ring or foot ring or whatever. So, it is whole creation also is Vacharamanam. And that Vikara, one being born out of another, is only Navadeya. We mutually give a name. The name holds on our tongue and it holds in our mutual understanding. That's it. Same thing continues, just expressing the entire, explaining the entire creation is Ishwara's manifestation. There are next four mantras, then he concludes the whole discussion. Let's see the mantra number six. Tasmadrujas, uh, sorry. Asma Drujasam Yajum Shidiksha 
तस्मादृजस्जूंशि दीक्षा ये कृतभो दक्षिणाश्चना कृतभो दक्षिणाश्च संवत्सर यजमश्चोका संवत्सर यजमश्चोका सोमो यवते यूर्य सोमो यवते यूर्य तस्मादृजस्मयुंशि दीक्षा ये कृतभो दक्षिणाश्च तस्मादृजस्मयुंशि दीक्षा यज्ञाश्च कृतवो दक्षिणाश्च संवत्सर यजमश्चोका सोमो यवते यूर्य संवत्सर यजमश्चोका सोमो यवते यूर्य तस्मात्षा तस्मा मीन फ्रॉम दैट from which that from that purusha what comes out from that purusha ruchah rugvedah samvedah yajurvedah havimshi that offerings oblations and then yagnash diksha that initiation what we will see that how that diksha means yagnash all the rituals kratavaha i'll explain kratava also means ritual I'll explain the difference between the two kratavaha then dakshinash then dakshina is not donation but dakshina is dakshina let us keep it that way as is it now the dakshina came out then samvatsarash then samvatsara is born samvatsara means kala then लोकाह यजमान द पर्सन हू परफॉर्म्स रिचुअल दट यजमान देन लोका वेरियस लोका फील्ड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड ही सेज सोमो यत्र पवते यत्र सूर्य दक्षिणायण मार्ग एंड उत्तरायण मार्ग द जर्नी पाथ टू बी ट्रावेल आफ्टर डेथ for reaching different lokas all that has come from purusha okay means aksharam brahma that has come from aksharam brahma don't forget the first mantra okay what is the first or second mantra you can just look at your book and see that what is the second mantra first mantra is also equally important but tadetat satyam yatha sudiptat pavakat visvalingah prasastra shapravente sarupah tatha aksharat sambhavanti praja from that akshara saumya bhavah and i told that any bhava means anything that is comes from akshara who is akshara सेकेंड मंत्र दिव्यो ह्यमूर्त पुरुष स बाह्यारो ह्यज अणो ह्यमना शुभ्र अक्षरा पर अक्षर इज रेफर्ड एस पुरुष सो इन शास्त्र टू वर्ड्स आर यूज एस्पेशल इन मुंडक ऑप्शन अक्षर एंड इक्वली पुरुष they are not talking of two things purusha is not different from aksharam brahma and aksharam brahma is not different from purusha so because both mean the same thing so from aksharat bahvi praja from aksharat praja has come and in the previous mantra he says purushat samprasuta look at the previous fifth mantra we just saw last word is purushat samprasuta Where a praja is born out of purusha, both mean the same thing. Okay. 
He says, now, you know, tasmat ruchaha. Okay. Ved mantras are also in general called ruchas. Ved ruchaha. And when here in a context of Samaha, Yajuhu, etc. is mentioned, contextually it means Rukveda. Ruchaha means Rukveda. The word Veda means a book of knowledge. With Gnane, with Labhej. With means to know and with means to gain. From that root, this Veda word is made. So, Veda means a book of knowledge. A book, they are, that means they are not simply words, understand. It reveals some knowledge. And what is it? That means when it's a knowledge, that means it is Pramana. Anything revealing knowledge is a pramanam of that object of knowledge. See, my eyes reveal me the name and the form. When eyes can reveal, uh, can reveal the name and the form, or color and the form, that means eyes are the pramanam. For what? Pramanam for forms and the colors. Similarly, ears reveal the sound to me. That means ears are the means of knowledge, pramanam. So Veda reveals something. Veda reveals, Veda means a book of knowledge. That means it reveals some knowledge. And that means it is a pramanam for that knowledge. What knowledge does it reveal? We have said earlier also, atindriyakna. That knowledge which cannot be independently comprehended Today, tomorrow, yesterday, or whatever, whichever way, by any given human intellect, Atindriya Gnanam, that is the means. That's a mean, Pramanam for this knowledge. So, Vedas are primarily Pramana means of knowledge. Listen this carefully. Two sections of Veda. Karma Kanda and Gnana Kanda. When you say Gnana Kanda, that means Upanishad and Gita and all that, that portion. And Karma Kanda means that thing which, which talks about means and the end. Various means are talked about for various ends that we call it as a karma kanda. When I said the Veda is a pramana, karma kanda is also pramana. When generally we are, if we are exposed to Vedanta in our classes, when it is said Veda is a pramana, we think only Upanishad is pramana. Vedanta nama Upanishad pramana. Karma kanda is pramana. Sadhanas are pramana. Sadhya is also Brahman. And knowledge means fact. Belief can be subject to verifiable and may be wrong. Imagine also. But when you say knowledge, that means it is factual. So Karma Kanda is also equally true as the Vedas, as Upanishads. is a means of knowledge. Karma Kanda is also a means of knowledge. Okay? Let's now come back to this. And the revelation of that knowledge which is beyond the comprehension or beyond the, uh, beyond the comprehension of an individual intellect or collective intellect without the Guru's help, that knowledge is revealed in the language of in the Sanskrit language. So the Sanskrit seems to be Bhagavan's mother tongue. You know, Bhagavan has revealed the Vedas. 
So Sanskrit is Bhagavan's mother tongue. He, you are more comfortable in your own mother tongue to talk or reveal, say something. And people, I would suggest you, you know, people in a typical Indian uh, way of intimating that our beloved has passed away. So they don't say, all right, we rest in peace. Okay. <laughs> Fellow is not, rest in peace because they are not burying. That's the wrong thing. In India also it has started. R.I.P. And they give advertisement so and so from this to this. R.I.P. We don't rest. We travel. <laughs> because karma takes you to different lokas. There is no resting. We don't wait for the day of the judgment. Our judgment is right there and there. Even while you are performing the karma, there itself the phala is accrued. And when it matures, that's another question. But you are given the phala. The phala is credited to your account on the credit side or debit side. In the punya, if it happens to be punya on punya side, then papam, then papam side. There is no resting in peace and then waiting for a day of judgment and son of a God will vouch, yes, sir. This was Jenti, and he was unfaithful and now became John and Sir is a faithful and attends masses and then comes to church and believes in you. Okay, heaven visa. That's all. <laughs> Consulate will stamp you to heaven. That's not our thinking. So we have not to wait for the way this day. Karma Kanda is a Praman. Upanishad also is a Praman. That means when it is a Pramanam, what should be my attitude? That is where Shraddha comes in. What was Arjuna's attitude in the fourth chapter? He says, Kathametat Vijaniyam Tamada Upraktavani. How do I understand that you only told? When Bhagavan said, even Vivasvate Yoga, I told this yoga to Vivaswan and Vivaswan told to Manu and Manu told to Ikshvaku, etc., etc. That means he accepted this must have been told to Vivaswan by Sri Krishna, who happens to be my cousin and my brother-in-law and my contemporary being born recently. But he seems to, that's true. I feel it is wrong but feeling is not knowledge. What Bhagavan said to him is the knowledge. So pending discovery, acceptance. What Swamiji used to say, Puja Swamiji, acceptance pending discovery. So Karma Kanda also is Pramanam. And we accept as a revelation of Ishvara and therefore pending discovery. I try sadhana and sadhya, etc. What is to be done? But not that it, you believe it. People often ask me, whenever you throw open the floor for question answer, the standard question is, do you believe in law of karma? <laughs> there is not a belief. <laughs> it is like asking me, do you believe in atma? Do you believe in brahman? Do you believe in Jiva Brahma Ikya? Do you believe in Samsara Samityatva? This is not a belief. This is to be seen. Similarly, we don't believe in Purva Janma or later Janma. We accept it. Because it is told by Veda and Veda is Brahma. And I, and I say it is true by extending the logic or experience. When I perform certain karmas, which are mentioned in Veda for a certain karma phala, and I get the phala. That means it has proved the validity of the means and the ends. So then the, everything else also equally true. And more so, it is not revealed by none other than Ishwara. So I accept it. It is true. Karma Kanda is true. Okay. So, Sanskrit is language, coming back to this. And you know, in a, a typical Indian way of intimating to relatives, not R.I.P., 
They say my father, Mr. So and so, has 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 uh, he is now resident of heaven. He is a resident of Golok. He say typical Golok vasi hue hai. Swargastha hue hai. Swarga vasi. Vasi means resident. Not simply though visitor in an ultimate sense. But then you reside there. So, so and so has become a resident of Goloka, you know, Pita Goloka Nivasitayase. Or Kailas, if they are believer of Shiva, they say Kailas Vasitayase. Or Svargas, Svargalok Pamyach, they say. He attained this loka called heaven. That's what they say. This is a good way, but I would say it is a wishful thinking. When somebody writes, my father has become a resident of heaven, your father, even in the fifth hell, Yamaraja will not give him the space. He was so contemptuous. Your, sometimes I feel like telling, your mother was so contemptuous of my mother-in-law. She forget about heaven. She will get much lower hell. But then they write wishfully. My Amara Matu and if your mother goes to Goloka, <laughs> I have a prayer. Oh, Jesus, save Krishna. <laughs> if she goes to Krishna Loka, <laughs> all such women, this mother in law is going into Kail. This Krishna's Loka will create problems for Krishna, nothing else. But anyway, this is how they write. And another, my, another question to them. Suppose, at least my suggestion to all of you, <laughs> if you want to be really Golokvasi or Kailas Lokvasi or Swargavasi, better learn Sanskrit. Because it is a mother tongue of Bhagavan and it is a mother tongue of Devas also. And you NRIs will understand very clearly. At least I understood it very clearly when I went to Argentina and I was held up at the airport. Thanks to Google, Google Translator. Then I wrote in Google Translator and I could talk, communicate to them. They didn't, you, when you don't know the local language, you know how much difficult situation you have to face. Even for a glass of water, you don't know how to communicate to them. So in uh, Americans, I can tell all these old grandmas coming to America and going to shop and shopping. They don't know English and they keep talking in Gujarati and Marathi. So that will happen to you in heaven. Devutas will talk only in Sanskrit. In Bhagavan, of course, if you are a Golokwasi, Bhagavan will talk in Sanskrit only. If you are Kailas Vasi, Shivji's mother tongue is also Sanskrit. So better learn Sanskrit. At least I try to understand a little bit Sanskrit and speak properly. Anyway, coming back to this Shastra, then he says, Tasmat Ruchasam, Ruchasam Yajamushi. As I said, Ruk, Ruk Ruchaha means Ruchaha. So this Major Veda is, is called Rukveda and Yajurveda and Samveda mantras have a little slight difference. What is the difference? The Rukveda means Niyata Bad Aksharaha Mantra. That mantra where the letters and uh, padas, how many divisions, you know, uh, uh, that are all certain, okay. In, like even our Gayatri Mantra. We know Gayatri Mantra is 24 letters. And there are three Padas. Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Vare Enyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yonaf Prachodayat So, total 24 letters, but in first Pada this much, second Pada this much, third Pada this much, uh, letters and Matras and etc., Niyata Pad Akshara Matraha. This that is called such mantras are Rukmantras. And that is called Chandas. 
वायदवे गायत्री इज अ छंद ओके वी हैव वी इंडियंस आर ग्रेट सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड गायत्री माता जी आउट ऑफ मंत्र गायत्री माता एक्चुअली इज नॉट देर and there are temples and there is a whole organization called gayatri parivar they have temples of gayatris anyway they have some pramanam other day they were telling me what's okay whatever it is but then gayatri is primarily chanda like anustup is a chanda it means after eight letters and there is a rule lagu gurus short and long and in order then you just give a small pause and total mantra one line one sentence is 16 letters trishtupa it is 12 therefore full stop comes after 12 and like shardul vikridita etc different chandas are there like this anustup chanda Like dharma kshetre kuru kshetre samaveta yuyutsava. Then only there is a full stop. Dharma kshetre kuru kshetre eight letters samaveta yuyutsava eight letters. And what is a trishtup chanda? Na jayate mriyate va kadachit na yam bhutva bhavita va na bhuya. Then full stop. Total is twenty-four. So, niyada pada is Rugveda. Aniyada pada matra akshara. That mantras where the pada and aksharas and matras are uncertain. Aniyada, not in order. In that itself is an order. There are those set of mantras are called yajur de yajur mantra yajur veda mantras. They are all in yajur veda. And Giti Gai Giti Pradhan Mantra has Samveda. Samveda is a way Mantra where mantras are sung. Might have heard it. They sing it, and in that singing they have Ha, Wu Ha, Wu Ha, Wu. these words indeclinable participles have no meaning but tell that still there is a it has its own place in that singing so sam mantras are sung yajur ved mantras have no niyad pad akshara like look at this since you know this taitri upanishad our वेद मनुच्चाचार्यो अंते वासिन मनुषास्ति सो लॉन्ग सत्यम वद धर्मम चर स्वाध्याया आन्मा प्रमदह आचार्याय प्रियम धनमारुत्य प्रजातंतुं मा व्यवच्छेत्सि अगेन शॉर्ट सत्यान्न प्रमदितव्यम धर्मान्न प्रमदितव्यम उषलाट and matra swaraj are also not certain when I mean, they keep varying they are not in a fixed order they so certain is there because bhagwan has told it has to be sung or chanted in this way only but then there is no krama in it so yajur veda sam veda kiti pradana veda okay now tasmad diksha diksha means what religious vows given and diksha also means rituals one diksha is often often performed across the world not only in india 
I have seen in Canada our Sanatan temple and then Vishnu Mandir and all our Ram Mandir pujaris, and I have seen that. Even in US, in New Jersey, etc., when they before they start yajna, they tie a red string to your wrist and ask you to tie a red uh, string to the wrist of the priest as well. That is one form of diksha. It's a religious connection or religious vows. Primarily, diksha means religious vows. Before you perform any, any ritual, one has to undergo certain tapas, certain amount of japa, etc. As they say, before giving Gayatri Mantra or Upanayanam to your son, one himself has to perform 10,000 Gayatri Mantras, minimum. So, this is how the things are. So, Dikshaha means, or they give you a ring of Darpa ring, you know, they chant some mantras, dry twigs, ring, they make it and ask you to wear. So, that is Diksha. Yagnaha, various Yagnas are given. Oh. So, Kartru Niyamaha. The karta has to perform certain niyama is diksha. In Ramayana, it is mentioned that when the Sharada announced that tomorrow I am anointing Rama as my successor, Yuraj Pada, Vasishtaji came to him and gave him diksha. Certain vows should do's and don'ts, extra do's and don'ts to to be to be adhered to by Rama and Sita ji before ascending the throne. So that is religious disciplines to be to be performed or maintained before any ritual. It is called diksha, primarily. And initiations by pandit by tying a rope and giving you the ring, etc., is also called as a diksha in a secondary sense. Tasmad ruchas sama yajumshi diksha ha. Yagnas chasarve karatavaha. All rituals. Agnihotradi, we have seen in this Upanishad. Chandramasadi, Purnamasyam, etc. Yagna, you know. Yasya agnihotram madarsha Purnamasam, Chandra, etc. We have seen that mantra. All these rituals are yajnas and kratavascha. Kratava also is yajna. But there is a slight difference between yajna and kratavaha. Kratu is a singular, kratavaha is a plural. When you perform a kratu, octagonal piece of wood is, is, is placed in front of it or it is fixed in front of it, log of wood. The Mother Earth is dug according to requirements or stipulation and the wood is erected on that particular place and with a specific count, how many feet and how many feet outside the earth, how many feet inside the earth, that is called yupaha. The yagnas in which there is a yupaha, octagonal piece of wood. Not piece of wood, but log of wood. This is happening again because of suffocation. Octagonal is kept and whenever there is a sacrifice of something animal or so that is tied to you. So that by that is also mentioned. So some yagnas are kratu, some yagnas are called yupaha, where there is an octagonal law piece of wood or log of wood is fixed in front near the diakshala. Erected, not fixed, but exactly erect that thing. And you tie an animal, that is it. And then he says, Dakshinascha, from that is Yagnaha, Dakshinascha. 
to give dakshina to brahmana is a part of a ritual though we say ritual got over when the final offerings are made in that fire and mantras are chanted and aarti is performed we say it is over but the yajmana the one who performs the ritual doesn't get the phalam unless and until he gives he or she gives dakshina to brahmanas the dakshina has to be given it is mandatory and that only completes the ritual like our satyanand katha you know you may do katha you may do aarti but you have to take prasad Whole, the whole essence of whole story, Satyanand Katha is Prasad Katha is there. Satyanand Prasad Katha. There is no Satyanand Katha. There is much, very little description about Satyanand. There is all Katha description, Prasad description. So and so did not eat, partake the Prasad, and therefore he lost his ships and everything. So and so did not take Prasad, therefore they lost like this all that. Anyway, so that only makes the karma complete. So, Dakshina is a karma anga. It is a part of the ritual, even to Brahmanas, even to Ritviks. Those who chanted and those who performed the ritual, it has to be given. And there is a niyam also in Shastra. Sometimes one cow, sometimes five more cows, etc. As per the stipulation, by if it is voluntary, I have seen people becoming miser in giving dakshana. They don't give sufficient dakshanas to brahmanas. And they think they have given too much to them. I have often seen they give 5,000. It's a big dakshana, they think. To a purohit who got their son married. He performed the whole marriage ritual. The maximum they give 5,000 or 11,000. The same person holds a reception and for reception stage decoration he spends 10 lakhs of rupees. <laughs> Forget about the dishes and cuisines that he sub gives. But when it comes to giving to Brahmana, it is only 10,000. So, as per the stipulation, sufficient given that is called Dakshina. So, this, this is a niyama of the karma. You know, it is okay. Sambat Saraha. Sambat Saraha means Kala, time, which is part of the karma. Certain karmas are to be done on certain date and certain murta. Therefore, Bhagavan has to be yagna. We have created yagnas. But for yagnas to be performed, there should be kalaha. So that Shubhadira, a proper auspicious day and auspicious mood, etc., can be ascertained. So that is kalaha. Not general kalaha. Yajamanascha, yajamanaha. Yajamana means. That, that individual who has a will to do this, who has a desire to do this, that individual, ahankara, is created out of this from the same purusha. Purusha is a cause of this. Yajamanaha, then he says, Dakshinasya, <laughs> Sarve Sambhasarascha Yajamanascha Lokaha Somo Yatra Pavate Yatra Surya. So created various Lokaha. Lokaha means what? Various fields of fields of experience. Okay. So the Karma Fala Bhutaha Loka. The Lokas are nothing but the Result of karma, karma falani. Why the karma falani? Because when such karma fructifies, you need such pleasures and such pain. 
both Punya and Babu, Urdu and other loka. They are created as per the stipulation or as per the law of karma. Karma phala bhutaha loka. These lokas which are the result of one's actions have been created. Achha. Then he says, somo yatra pavate yatra surya. Now means yatra somaha means dakshanayanam. Yatra surya means uttrayanam. All lokas are born out of same Ishwara, that same Aksharam, Brahma or Purusha. All lokas are born out of this Purusha. So, going to any one loka doesn't mean going to Ishwara as a whole. Okay? And th though the loka is not separate from Parameshwara, we'll see this discussion in the next mantra. It will come. But then, these lokas are primarily fields of experience. People say, I have not seen Swarga. And I don't believe in heaven and hell. Whether you believe or not, it is. Type of the karmas you perform, the result will come. And to exhaust those results, you need a specific infrastructure, a specific object, specific place, specific way of living. That's infrastructure. You earned it. Punya and Papa both. That's why Lokas have been mentioned. And he says, it is still there. <laughs> Yatra Soma Pravate, then Jiva's travel journey is Dakshanayana Marga means the fellow goes to different lokas where he is or she stays, the Jivatma stays till the exhaustion of that karma phala takes place. And in these lokas, Jivatma either has to have only sukha or only dukha, predominantly, swarga, naraka, etc. Buhu, Buaha, Suaha, Maha, Janaha, Tapaha, Satyam, Atal, Vital, Talatal, Razadal, Mahatal, Shalvadal, Paras, Patal. So, seven down, seven up. They are fields of experience. So, according to their karmas, Jiva gets those experiences. If it is Punya, accordingly, Punya, you become happy. And if it is Papam, then you become unhappy. Now, continues it further. Next mantra. Look at it. Mantra number seven. Tasmacha deva bahuda samprasuta. Tasmacha deva bahuda prasuta samprasuta. Sadhya manusha pashavo vayamsi. Sadhya manusha pashavo vayamsi. Prana pano vrihavo tapas vrihavo tapascha. Shraddha satyam brahmacharyam vividascha. Please silent. Somebody is making a lot of noise. I did that for me, sir. Put it on mute. Tasmach Devaha Bahuda Samprasuta. From the Ishwara, so many Devutas were born. And then Sadhya, different category of Devutas. Then he says, Manushaha, human beings are born. Pashavasya. Different animals are also born. Sasmacha Pushpurpur Devaha Pashavaha and Vayamsihi. Vayamsi means birds. Animals both domesticated and forest life, wild animals. Both were born. And then varieties of birds were born. Then he says Prana Pan. Oh, Prana Pan is also born which sustains the Biological and physiological functions within, they are also born. Then he says, Vrihi avau tapasraddha. Vrihi means barley. 
Vihi Yavau. Okay. Different. Yavau is also born. Vihi. Vihi Yavau. Havirathau are born. Tapascha. Various tapas. That which is karmanga bhutam, which is a part of the ritual or any independent, independent tapas. They are also born. Shraddha. Shraddha means faith. I mean, uh, astikya buddhi. What is told by teacher is true. What is mentioned in Shastra is true. That is Shraddha. Okay. Tapas Shraddha. Satyam Brahmacharyam Vividishya. Satyam also is to reveal. Anduta Varjitam Satyam and then Brahmacharyam Vividishya and Brahma Bhagavan revealed Brahmacharyam. And then Vidishya. Vidhi means certain do's to be done. Certain things are mandatory things. So mandatory things are also revealed. The various voluntary karma and karma falas are also revealed. And ultimately both sadhana sadhya, different means and ends are revealed. And Brahma Vidya is also revealed by the devas. Okay. We will see this mudra tomorrow. Om Purnamadav Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudhachyate Purnasya Purnamadhaya Purnam Hevava Shishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om